This is the Motor City. And this is what we do. He's one of the world's most popular rappers, has been nominated for 43 Grammy Awards, and has won 15, and he's even won an Oscar. Not many celebrities out there can say they've achieved quite the level of fame that Slim Shady has. And with a net worth of 190 million, he's shown time and time again that it's possible to lose yourself, clean out your closet, and prove that you're not afraid to still come out on top. The real Slim Shady might have millions in the bank, but he's spending them in a rather surprising way. Make sure to stick around until the end to hear about this rapper's love of vintage arcade games. If you've listened closely to Eminem's lyrics, you'll know by now that he grew up in Detroit, Michigan. Unlike many stars who leave their hometowns as soon as financially possible, Eminem decided to set up camp in Detroit for good, and that's where you'll find him to this day. This rapper used to own two mansions in Detroit until he sold one of them for a hefty sum. Eminem's first house is in Clinton Township. The 8,900 square foot home was built in 1996, but Eminem purchased it in September 2000 for $1,483,500. But even though Eminem lived in his Clinton Township home for the majority of the time, he decided to buy an even bigger Rochester Hills mansion that served as his occasional getaway. This 17,000 square foot estate is also known as the Kmart Mansion because its former owner was Charles Conway, the previous chairman of Kmart. It sits inside a secure compound and includes six bedrooms and nine and a half bathrooms. Each bedroom is a suite. The outdoor space is just as stunning and includes many amenities like tennis courts, a waterfall pool, a spa, and an entertainment cabana, and a guest house with its very own game room. We're just waiting for an invitation. We'd be here all day if we talked you through every single one of Eminem's cars, because this rapper hasn't held back when it comes to fancy wheels, and he's certainly a bit of a gearhead. Eminem has at least 12 cars and loves to spend his spare time riding around in his assortment of expensive vehicles. First up is this $150,000 Aston Martin V8 Vantage. This beautiful car is a beast that's built for speed and is actually capable of reaching 100 kilometers an hour in a matter of just over three seconds. Eminem also seems to be quite the fan of Italian engineering. The man actually has three cars all designed by Ferrari, including the prestigious 575. There were only just over 2,000 units ever produced and it definitely has the classic sleek sports car look. Next up is the exclusive Porsche Carrera GT, another one you won't see on the streets very often. Then there's his Ford GT, Audi R8 Spyder, and the Porsche 911 GT3 RS 4.0. And who could resist buying another Porsche? Eminem loved the GT3 so much, he went out and purchased the faster model of the 911, the GT2 as well. This car alone is valued at over $330,000. There's another mode of transport that you probably think we've been missing here, and that's a private jet. Because we all know that a rapper with Eminem's level of fame should have his own private jet. It's basically one of the unofficial requirements. There have been rumors in the past that Eminem purchased his own jet to have at his permanent disposal, but those rumors turned out to be false. However, this doesn't mean that Eminem isn't spending his dollars on a private jet, just that he's renting it instead of buying. And when you look at how much the value of a jet decreases over time, you'll probably agree that it makes sense financially. Although with the amount of time Eminem spends on private jets, you might just disagree. When Eminem has traveled around Australia and New Zealand in the past, he's arrived in style in a private jet, and he's also a fan of chartering them for other people. In 2018, Eminem sent a private jet to artist BB Rexa to perform at Coachella, before the pair had ever even met. It seems that Eminem championed the up-and-coming artist talent so much that he was prepared to pull out all the stops to get her to California. You might get the impression by now that Eminem knows just how to flex his money, but there's one particularly heartwarming story that'll prove to you that it wasn't always this way. Back in the day, Eminem wanted to treat himself to a Rolex watch. Unlike many rappers, he wasn't covered in gold chains and other expensive pieces of jewelry. So this Rolex would have been a special treat. But before he splashed out the thousands of dollars on a shiny new toy, he called his manager to make sure he could afford it. At the time, Eminem was bringing in millions and could have afforded the entire shop's worth of Rolex watches. His manager predictably told him to buy the watch and stop worrying. And so he did, after a lot of consideration. While these days we see Eminem wearing a yellow gold Audemars Piquet Royal Oak on his wrist, he's worn several other Rolex watches in the past. There's the stainless steel Submariner with a black dial and a black bezel. Next up is a white gold Rolex President with diamonds on the dial and a stainless steel Datejust with a white gold fluted bezel and Roman numerals on the dial. We're glad that this star decided to treat himself to some fancy wrist wear after all. There's a second part to the watch story that we just told you about and it's arguably even more heartwarming. 
You see, when Eminem double-checked that he could afford the new Rolex, it wasn't just for his own personal need. In actual fact, he wanted to check that he had enough money in the bank still so that he could pay for his daughter Haley to go to college. He didn't want her to have to worry about finances, and he'd much rather leave the Rolex if his daughter could have things a little easier growing up. You'll have learned a lot about Haley and her father's adoration from Eminem's lyrics. She's the shining light of his life, and Eminem will gladly spend his millions of dollars on his daughter if he can make her happy, and it seems to have paid off. Nowadays, Haley is a fashion and travel influencer on Instagram, with more than a million followers herself. She regularly posts updates about what she's getting up to and where she's exploring next. In the past, Eminem has spoken about his financial difficulties, and he opened up to Rolling Stone about one particularly bad year when he had only $40 in the bank just before Christmas. But even those last dollars went to his daughter. And now that he's a millionaire, it goes to show that some things never change. We all know that Eminem's had a hard life. It's something that he references in nearly every track. If you're a huge fan of this celebrity, then you'll know that he struggled with addiction in the past and eventually hit rock bottom. Of course, he built himself back up again and continued to be successful, but he had to swap his addiction for something healthier. And the answer to that problem? Exercise. Eminem has a strict workout routine that he follows daily, and it's a plan that's taken him from Slim Shady to enormous Eminem. First of all, he started running. He said, quote, I think I got a little carried away. I became a hamster. 17 miles a day on a treadmill. I would get up in the morning, and before I went to the studio, I would run eight and a half miles in about an hour." End quote. Running might have been a thrifty way to stay fit, but it wasn't the end result for Eminem. Soon enough, he swapped to workout DVDs like Sean T's Insanity, P90X, and Body Beast. Then, he started building up his routine more, investing time and money getting his body into the best position that it could be. But there's another side of Eminem that you might not be so aware of, and that's his other addiction. But don't worry, because it's something positive and a little unexpected. Eminem boasts a hardcore comic book collection featuring some very expensive titles. True Slim Shady fans know about the legendary rapper's love of comics. For starters, Eminem straight up became a character in The Punisher, albeit for one issue only. Then there was the variant cover of Mighty Avengers number 3, which featured Marshall Mathers hanging out with Iron Man in front of his childhood home. If you'd like more direct evidence, Eminem has tons of nerdy comic book references right in his songs. Shady Records executive Riggs Morales was the one to accidentally tell the world about Eminem's extensive collection. He said, quote, I've gotten a small glimpse of Eminem's collection, and Eminem's collection is otherworldly. He has items that aren't even on display at the stores, end quote. Riggs specifically named Amazing Fantasy No. 15 as one of Eminem's comics, a title that could make the collection worth over a million dollars by itself. Perhaps surprisingly, Eminem isn't very open about his comic book collection. Maybe because he thinks it would ruin his image a little. And that's not where Eminem's love for all things throwback ends. He's also an avid gamer, but only of the old school variety. He's spoken in the past about some of the games he adores, and a simple trip to a studio will suggest something similar. Thanks to a 2010 interview in Rolling Stone, we know all about Eminem's passion for arcade games. He loves vintage arcade games and became obsessed with playing after seeing the documentary The King of Kong. His studio lobby is filled with classics like Frogger, Space Invaders, and Donkey Kong, and he's on a mission to beat some very impressive top scores. Eminem clocks his scores as MVM for Marshall Bruce Mathers. So we can play the old school games, but what about the newer games? Eminem might have been a featured artist in Activision's DJ Hero, but that doesn't necessarily mean he can play it, and it's a fact that he's admitted in the past. He claims that he doesn't bother buying the newer games because they're too complicated. He just wants to jump and run, rather than fuss around with other features. But he's certainly splashed out on a variety for his studio of the older classics. He might have come from virtually nothing and stumbled his way through the early years of his life, but Eminem hasn't forgotten those he met on the way up, or even those still right at the bottom. A lot of Eminem's huge income goes right back to where it all started, Detroit. He doesn't speak up about a lot of the charitable causes he donates to, but Slim Shady has certainly donated a lot of money over the last few decades to the people who need it the most. While it's a very rapper thing to stay true to the place that you grew up in, it's less cool to be seen to be a down-to-earth charitable guy. Maybe it's an attempt to maintain his hard man exterior, but we actually don't hear a great deal about some of the kind things that this rapper has done for other people. Eminem channels all of his charitable works through the Marshall Mathers Foundation. He donates large amounts of money and supports many projects for the kids of the Michigan and Detroit metro area to make sure that at least some of the kids in situations similar to his get the chances that he didn't. He also provides funds for shelters, AIDS charities, food banks, and all sorts of other good causes around the area that he came from. If you've seen Slim Shady's name in the media over the last few years, then it might not always be regarding his music. One thing that everybody's noticed is that Eminem never seems to age. 
If you look at a photo of him in his 20s and another in his 40s, you'll struggle to see a big difference. Is it all natural? We're not sure, because there are a lot of rumors continuing to circulate that suggest that Eminem's consistent looks might not entirely be down to good genetics. It's possible that he's spending some of his millions on plastic surgery to keep himself looking youthful. And why not? It's not like he can't afford it. There are speculations that he's undergone Botox to keep his face so free of wrinkles, and possibly a facelift to match. Others have noticed that Eminem used to look perpetually stern and a little stressed, but those lines have seemingly disappeared. Could he have undergone a little forehead reshaping? Other rumors include the likes of lip plumping, cheek reductions, and an eye lift. Maybe it really is all genetics, or maybe Slim has quietly put some of his income into looking youthful after all. That's all for This Is How Eminem Spends His Millions. What do you think of Slim Shading's spinning habits? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to The Richest, and join our notification squad. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.